So 50 Cent has got this roasting Nick Cannon for his 12 cheering he got out here to be crying. Look at boy. <laughs> I want my daddy. <laughs> But but it was in response to some words that Nick Cannon had for him on a show like a month or two ago or whatever. So we're going to play 50 words, but we're going to play what started it with Nick Cannon first. And we're going to get to Just Hilarious defending Nick Cannon in this whole thing. Let's get to it. Vivica Fox reveals that she yeah. wants to date 50 Cent again. She and she's going to have to go. fight me for Let him. that go. You can like fantasize about fifth for 15 years ago. That's a different fifth than this fat man that's walking around now. And <laughs> that was Nick Clown the fifth when he was... Uh, in the Super Bowl performance, hanging upside down, looking like he had a bulletproof vest on, but he didn't. I don't know if he did or he didn't. But he, but he wasn't on his regular workout regimen. Let's just say that. I still would do that. I ain't going to lie. I hit 50, but I'll never be around him. Now, you'll be around. You, I guarantee you 50 Cent will come on this show. Why do it always be the fat chicks that be talking reckless like this? I hit baby, but I'd never be around. She would have definitely been there while he was at the buffet or, or somewhere at the crib eating whole packs of raw hot dogs. Just you know what I'm saying? Step back and like I what y'all it's always the chicks that look like her to be testing me right now. She better. Oh. And I'm gonna play this clip. Look at me. About both of y'all saying y'all wanna look at me. I'm gonna dress like a total <laughs> that day too. I know he can handle me. See, th th this this would be making me mad when y'all talk like this. I, I I I'm not even gonna dignify this with a response. You know what I'm saying? Because you already got my blood pressure up in the last clip. Man, he's a or, like, I, I got caught. He is fat. He looks like he got a pack of hot dogs on the back of his neck. I like a little layer of pudge. 50 how chocolatey. He cute. You looking at them pictures from uh, Get Rich or Die Trying. Now, I like thick. Now it's Get Thick or Die Frying. <laughs> <laughs> Get thick or die frying. I ain't gonna lie though. The way the big girl laughed irritated my soul. <laughs> Sad to put that in there. But let's get to 50's comments about Nick Cannon's 12 cheering with all these baby mamas. It sounds like an actual experience you had. Exactly. This, is, this is real life, bro. Like, I'm looking at <laughs> what the f made me the body. And I'm like, it, it doesn't matter. And then I'm like, rather go into a, a, a condo. Than, than the big house at the time. Because I didn't have, look, if I had Nick Cannon's 12 kids like that, then you could put them all in the bedroom. Everybody's everybody's here. It would mean putting everybody together, then it would make sense. And that's the angle that a lot of polygamists are coming from. Like, you put everybody together, then it makes sense as, as a kind of cohesive family. But when you have people spread out like Nick Cannon do, it's different. But I didn't, I'm not going to have kids like that i don't want the responsibility of that many women that you got to deal with emotionally especially after they don't feel like your friend anymore mm. you know what i mean like that's it's too much to kind of <laughs> and so 50 has given some real game as a man who has two kids by two baby mamas nick cannon has 12 kids by six different baby mamas so it's going to come a time where he's going to experience the pulling of the baby mamas that aren't his friend anymore, as 50 say. I don't know what the f is wrong with Nick Cannon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this this is just different, right? See, look, <laughs> I have to work on that part right there, right? Like, with the, when it slips out, like, because that's that is the old 50 set. I am new, the new 50. Yeah, you know, I, I owed him that because he said something about me. He said I was, uh, what he said? He said one of his little shows. And while 50 can even admit that he's being a bit petty and saying that he owed Nick that lick back, what he said make perfect sense. Although Nick might not want to see what he's saying at this point, it'll become apparent to him at some point down the road. But then you have women like Jess Hilarious, who is defending Nick and his behavior and how he's carrying himself out here. Let's get to that. I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I would disagree with 50 on the Nick thing because all of Nick baby mothers seem to be cooperative like we nobody has ever come to blast him nobody is and I'm not even gonna say yet he's never really been in a he's never been in a committed relationship with any of them except Mariah so he was married. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that was a marriage you know mm -hmm. that they have like a a fixed agreement, almost kind of sorta. Everybody stay in place. The, in fact, the only girl who who's not his friend anymore is the one who didn't get the baby, Jessica White, mm -hmm. who on Love and Hip Hop talking mm -hmm. about him, mm -hmm. who says she don't want to keep talking about him. 
people keep talking about him. So that I, I don't I don't know. I beg the I beg to differ. I think he actually is the is the one person with a bunch of baby mothers who I think will actually he can actually move all of them except Mariah in one house and have a show. And I think that'll be now, successful. That'd be, that'll be a good show. Now I'm gonna just say all of this seems possible because everybody's on good terms at this moment. Which I mean, the baby mamas should be. They they all knew what type of man he was, how he operated. They knew what type of money he was making, so ain't nobody wanting for nothing. But unfortunately, things don't last like this all the time. Like, you know, your money go up, your money go down. So I, I'm going to say Nick is going to experience a different reaction from his baby mamas. Listen, I, I saw a TikTok. It was something to the effect of, the first time you tell a woman no, and, and they showed the woman, she was on the floor crying and groveling and rolling around and having a fit like an infant. And this is the truth. The first time you tell a woman no, you will see the true reaction out of her. You understand what I'm saying? And this is what Nick is going to experience at some point in his relationship. He got six baby mamas with 12 kids. So at some point, when the money starts to go down a little, right now when the money's up, everybody's good. You ain't got no problem. What you want? What the babies want? They'll take this money. I'm like, come on, man. Don't ask me no dumb question like that. When the money decreases, while and out goes off the air or whatever shows that he are producing or whatever, and I'm not wishing this on the brother, but I'm just saying it's possible that it can happen. Stuff happens and the money goes down. I ain't going to say it goes down to the ground, but it, it goes down and levels out a little bit. Then it's going to become apparent that he's going to have to tell some of y'all know on some of these things that you've been getting before with no problem, without asking. And when you have to tell a baby mother that is privileged, that has been getting everything that she wants, no, she is likely to go nuts on you. She's going to go to the courts. She's going to turn the baby against you. She's going to she's going to do whatever it is to get what she needs for her and her children. And then now you have to realize, like 50 said, they're not your friend no more. And now it's six of them against one of you. And then once all six of them realize that the money is depleting. And it's a fight for it. They are going to start clawing and scratching and trying to pull and do every little trick in the book for the courts and this, that, and other to get whatever money they can get to come their way. Y'all haven't seen funerals before, and I'm not saying that it has to be a funeral to play out like this. I'm just saying the funds have to de decrease, but I'm, I'm liking it to a, to a funeral because normally you'll see it's like somebody got some money and everything is good. And then when the funeral go down... And it ain't no set wheel of who supposed to get what. And those people that are in the vicinity of what is supposed to be dispersed, they realize they close to it and they supposed to get something. People start clawing and, crack and scratching and snatching and pulling. And the worst of everybody comes out. And I'm likening that to this baby mama situation because we've seen it play out too many times before. Yeah, Nick Cannon might be the one to be able to pool all his baby mamas into one house. Could be. To me, I think that type of lifestyle, I think that type of lifestyle is, is the way to go anyway. But it's different when you are just Johnny Appleseed, like Nick is doing. Now, I'm, I'm glad that he's telling his baby mamas up front what he is and how he operates because he's not lying. I appreciate that because less lies equal less problems. But you, you can't convince me that it's, it's not a problem that so many of his kids are spread out and by so many different women and they're doing this and they're doing that. And they all are vying for his attention. And as they get older, they are going to vie even more for his attention. And they are going to get upset when they don't get his attention. And we see that with Boosie and his young daughter that went nuts on Boosie because he had just given her a $80,000 car or something like that. And then the mother put him on child support and he took the car back and the daughter went off. And 
And then you find out all this stuff like, you know, Boosie ain't really been there. He been there, but he ain't. And you know what I'm saying? How can you? How can you be an entertainer and be there for nine, ten kids? You can't. You don't have the schedule for it. Unless your kids are all, all with you. And even if they are all with you, you on the road touring all this time. You, you would have to take your kids on, on the road touring with you at all times to be around them. And that's just impossible with as many baby mamas as Nick Cannon and Boosie have. So we have to admit that even though the money is there to quiet some of these problems, it won't last. At some point, the money is going to get lower. The baby models are, are going to get agitated. The kids are going to get agitated. Kids more so going to get agitated because the father is not with them, spending time with them. You know what I'm saying? I know something about some of this stuff, man. I'm just saying. And 50 is giving a fair warning to Nick as to what can happen. Now, y'all could, could call it petty if you want to. But this is a fair warning. And... We hope that Nick won't have to go through this. But how many times have we seen? Just saying. It's your boy P. Campbell. You let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.